How we doing, everybody? Eddie Soundhead back once again here with Soundhead Entertainment back in Wreckfest today to celebrate the first Talladega weekend of the year with a classic Legends battle here on the high banks, but with another new scheme and another winning car from 2022. This time we've got Alex Bowman's 48 Ally car. Once again, beautifully crafted here in Wreckfest by my guy drive through Big special shout out to him once again. Hopefully it'll give us the power to survive and win here today at Dega. So let's go ahead and get right into it. And away we go here. Taking on one of the all-time tracks again. You knew we had to do it for Dega Week. And down goes Daniel Suarez already at first into the wall right off the bat. And we have Kyle Larson in the 42 car. That's a little bit cursed. If you ask me, at least we make it to the line to start a lap here. I mean, hey, Bugbear, if you're out there listening, add some draft physics to this game and I will love you forever, Justin Haley. Please know why. I just had to stuff myself three feet deep in the wall for that. There's a pack up there going three wide, trying to go four wide, and there they go. We got two of them right on top of the safer barrier, and AJ's trying to join them here. Look at this mess. We got Busher and Castle up there on the choo-choo train rails. We gotta take a look at this little incident here from the perspective of the one car, these beautiful chrome numbers that are gonna go by us in the shade. You can't really see it that well, but it won't matter anyway, because we're gonna wax them off here on the fence. And these guys are lucky that they don't hit these little posts and just dig in and have some horrific wreck in front of our very eyes and shout out to the 12 doing a sick little grind on the barrier there can we talk about what a paradox it is to have kyle bush driving this dale and hart jr car by the way oh look at them slam we really race and now you know what this reminds me of remember when kyle bush wrecked his five car and jr jumped in it? i think at texas this is like that but in reverse well unfortunately i'm gonna box in you stooge where are you gonna go now huh you're gonna push tie down oh you little weasel you found a way in this pack of four up here is really trying to figure their lives out oh, what just happened up there we got the 48 across the track, Jimmy Johnson with a missile strike, and it was Recky doing the work. Who would have thunk it? We have a literal ally out here, no pun intended. That is incredible. Trickle's trying to do something here. Well, give me a little room, McDowell. We got to make it through here or not. We're going to hit this guy. We're going to die. We're dead. There we go. We're in the fence. Are you freaking kidding? Oh, we just killed Chick Hicks, and there we go. My face has been ripped off forcibly by the 42 of Larson, and we're flipping through the air in the infield. Lot to unpack here. It looks like we'll have to do it ourselves. That all got started by the five, packing his own Hendrick teammate, the 48, and that takes out a bunch from the two, the 88. The five got up in the wall, and the 24 as well is a horrible day for Hendrick. Then we get down here into turn three, and who would have thought Michael McDowell putting up those Daytona 500 fighting moves, and we wind up in the fence. Chick Hicks upside down, barrel rolling through the field before any of us, and then we go ahead and we follow suit. What a sight to behold. I can see my mission clearly now, and it's being proven even further by Daniel Suarez here on the start. It's just to avoid getting run over by these absolute cockroaches that can't even make it off the line. And of course, they don't want to help out with this objective whatsoever. AJ Allman, dumbass, just throws me over into the fence and look at me. I'm not going to say one single word about this. Just take a look for yourself. And if it isn't my new best friend, AJ Allman, dipshit. AJ, you think I'm going to forget what you did to me, buddy? And shout out to the fact that we're in the timeline where he didn't get fired by Penske, by the way. We'll go ahead and relish in that for a minute as they're wrecking ahead of us. We got Brad Keselowski running into the back of his current teammate, pushing him. They really wouldn't put Brad in the two car for this session, too, by the way, just to hurt my soul. You know the game did that on purpose. They know too much. They did that just to remind me that those glory days are over. Oh, it's getting nasty up there. It's getting real nasty. We got Chick Hicks barrel rolling past the finish line. We got guys pulling out at the worst possible times here. Oh, it's a little payback on McDowell. We got Kyle Busch piggyback in the 24, and it's a big one back there. Oh, it is a big one if there ever was one. The leaders are headed into the danger zone. I really need someone to just come through and clap them for me, please. Right to oblivion. I might get it myself here. Kurt Bush, what are you doing? And I'm getting ran over to death, of course. I am dead. I'm out of it. Don't mind that little factor. Kurt Bush. I'm going to need you and everybody you know to the NASCAR Hall of and Jimmy Spencer your ass for that. AJ up here once again, just choosing violence, trying to get me again, but I will not be fooled. I'll side draft my boy up here. If he's got any fenders left already. There's too much business going on in turn one. Maybe turn two is going to produce it for us. I guess turn two is the one we got to look out here for today. The turn two meme is alive and well. And all these guys are doing is just slowing each other down. They didn't even wreck each other that hard. Absolute weakness. The Kyle Busch is blocking. Lean it up here. Kyle, don't you do it. Kyle, don't you do it. I knew it. I could see that coming from eight centuries in the past. That is the classic Kyle Busch self-clear. I'm just gonna end it all right. It's over with. And there goes Chris Butcher. Oh, Chris. 
Chris is another one of those just constant unintended victims and I'm going to take it right to the ambulance here. Guys, I'm just going to wheel spin off the line till I am blue in the face. Can we please get going as Larson's at least making it look a lot worse than I am. And there goes the cone. Pretty sure the penalty for that is being hanged. I think they're bum drafted up there. I got someone on my ass trying to bum draft with me. I'll block you, AD. Well, may oh, he lifted me up. Oh my goodness. That could have been catastrophic right there. My wheels left the ground. This is the scariest part of the track right here. Second time through the trial legs in the line. This is definitely the danger zone. I got Austin Dillon giving me the bum draft I was looking for a lap ago, and it's he's gonna push me right into a wreck this time around. I just know it, or we can just drive right through the middle of it as casually as we've ever done anything in our lives. And I'm just gonna keep it right here in front of Austin Dillon unless I lose it. I'm getting light on exit, and he just plants it right in my door. Way to go ahead and get around that one, buddy. We're gonna barely keep it off the wall with a barrel check there. <laughs> return to the barrel check. Return to the wheel spin. I'm returning to the track in the worst way possible. We got a Michael McDowell check on our hands. Just wheel spinned my life away right back into the lane and Michael McDowell and I are in a grudge match until he finally disposes of me. And that'll just about do that for trying to win this thing and I'm wheel spinning myself all the way around here. It's destiny, I guess, for me to drive backwards. That's about all we're good for at this point. We got someone coming toward What the hell is this? We got Denny Hamlin getting wrecked and we're wrecked up in the air. It's the return of the Space Force Academy at Dega. This is what I want to see here. A replay of the collapse. It started innocently enough with me and Austin Dillon just racing and I lost it. To my credit, I did lose it on my very own and I did claim Austin Dillon's race as my own. And then I don't know really what, I, I would love to explain to you what happened there, but just keeping your foot in it isn't always the best idea. It turns out Michael McDowell's trying to teach me this. Just absolutely lost the sumo match there, coming at us in reverse. We look a lot less twisted up in the replay than we actually did. Seems to be kind of generous to us, and somehow we're still less twisted up than like a Gen 4 stock car. Don't go ahead and answer me that one as we're headed down the line. We don't even make it that far because Denny Hamlin hits us head on. Gives us that FedEx Express ride straight to Mars. I gotta stop running around this Brad Keselowski car. This is just hurting my soul, man. It is not right seeing those rookie stripes on it. I hate to do it to you, Brad, but we gotta do it. I can't take it anymore. Kyle Busch is about to do it again. He's gonna, there it is. He self-cleared himself to death again. He literally cannot help himself. And here we go now. This is really gonna kick off and I got nowhere to go except the back of Butcher. And we sent him and we deleted the right side of his car and our own. There you go, knock the glass out of it. It's just a little bit of weight reduction. White flag in the air, and I see some guys down in turn one ready to get stretched, and there they go. 24's up in the fence, and we got a huge one unfolded right in front of us, up through the middle we go. We almost made it. We almost made it through that. Instead, we climb up on the 22. And we're still going here. If I had been just a little bit lower, we might have drove through that. Oh my God, you gotta be kidding me. We're just in no man's land. We're like a mile ahead of third and behind first. Well, this one is gonna sting. And there it is. That's the closest we've come. Just send me to the wall. Send me to the shadow realm of consciousness for that one. Cause come on, man. That is the most painful second place of all time. If I had been two feet lower in that wreck, I swear we might have had something. We'll get to the bottom of how this garbage unfolded and it starts back here with us. Trying to get by the one car, instead we just pack him and send him straight into the wall, head first, delete the right side of the car indeed. It became the wrong side of the car rather quickly right there. And down in turn one here, it almost hurts to watch through the madness and just degeneracy. Just a little bit too high and we climbed up on that 22. If we'd just been a little bit lower, I'm telling you, we would have been off to the lead. Oh, there we go. There's a squeeze. Is that some turn one memory for like the first time today? It's been a little bit scarce down here. I think that counts. Michael McDowell in horrible shape right there. Fire coming out of the engine and everything. And Denny Hamlin taking Kyle Busch the wall like the all-star race back in the day. I could really use some draft physics right about now for this. I'm telling you, I've got nothing. And I, I don't know if I do need him because you know what? The great equalizer is the danger zone up here. Look at this. Where am I supposed to go? That was a full on track blocker. Oh, and I get hit in midair and still again. Piling into that one and I'm going to come to a rest on my noggin. With three wheels on the wagon. That has to be one of the more brutal wrecks of the day. This might actually be one of the most brutal wrecks of our wreckfest life. Like the 45 gets destroyed. That is just, I, good luck trying to call this because everybody's just about to get mangled. Chick Hicks, absolutely just Mike Tyson on an airplane right there. And it just kicks off even further down into the corner. 
And I mean, pick a number because everybody's wrecking down here. It's more of a question of who didn't wreck. And we got him trying to drive up the bank. There you go. That'll do it. Well, I can see the bottom of someone's car up there, so that's not a good sign. I see some action in turn one. What else? Where else? Who else? But these idiot AI, and I'm going to drive right through the middle of all of them if I'm not careful. No, Alex Bowman. I was so close to get through that again. What did he clap me for stealing his car? As we will take the white flag with a car that is still pretty well held together. We took some big hits, but we're seemingly firing on all cylinders still, which is a lot more than you can say for some of these dudes down at the bottom. It is a real junkyard down there. And that is gonna do it. I'm just gonna pin it to the floor and let Jesus take the wheel and have fate figure out the rest there. I think we just barely beat someone in a photo finish there while I'm wrecking it in reverse. Even Landon's losing it up here. Come on, you guys are supposed to be able to handle this up here. Why can't you? And that's gonna send AJ into me. That's collateral damage. That is gonna go ahead and shoot us in the foot from the start. So I'll line myself up. Come on down, the price is wrong. And it's only gonna get wronger. Look at us, we've been detrunk. That's what I call doing it right. And unfortunately, we ended up being the star of our own turn one meme down here, thanks to the efforts of Lana Castle and our old buddy AJ, causing us to lose the will to live right in the middle of the turn and in front of Denny Hamlin and Alan Kowicki, two senseless victims of this heinous act. And we did it right, all right, in front of the field. Daniel, come on, buddy. I thought we had gotten over this. Come on. This is what our rivalry has come to now. Just kiss it on the start line. Oh, Kyle Larson, why? The cursed 42 strikes again. We can't even, we got to start from the pit lane as he's barrel rolling at the start line. Oh my God, if he, I thought he was about to get creamed here. I'll go ahead and pick up the slack. There we go. We just removed him from the race and he's in a horrible spot. Don't do it. Don't do it! Oh my god, Chris Busher, what is wrong with you? That is gonna be a fresh pair of undies on the next pit stop, please. Thank you very and look at this. Now I gotta deal with this idiocy. What is going on? I'm gonna pack Eric Jones because I got nowhere to go. They're making me dodge everybody. This is harder than the Olympic Games. They're gonna make me do it again down here. They're still oh my god, that's a double flip right there. We still got dudes laid in the road. Get out of the road! How hard of a concept is this? Now I gotta finish this in reverse. This is ridiculous. We're gonna be barely hanging on to a top 10 after this. I am disgusted beyond belief, ladies and gentlemen. When will it end? You would think you could trust the AI to act as a battering ram for you and just clear the way. And I guess they kind of did, but just not enough because there's always one more guy laying in the weeds down there. And lost in all this is the fact that I did a slick little grind right there and I rolled out of it in reverse. I am about to get served up a piping hot L and there it is from McDowell. Hold on, this is a drag race. I think we are gonna get to Suarez here. His car stinks, he might be dumb, and we're gonna wreck into him anyway across the line for the lowest lowdown way to gain an extra spot. We didn't even get in the top 10. Suarez, if you gotta take one out of my ass for that, I will totally understand. You do what you gotta do, partner, and he's trying to. He tried it. He certainly did. AJ Allmendinger ain't trying, and he's gonna get smoked back there by a couple of guys, and I'm just about smoking myself up here looking back at it. Keep your eyes peeled up ahead and on the prize. We got him in the infield coming in. We got the six car coming in on. Oh my God, he laid out the guy behind me. He just drilled the poor soul that was racing in line behind me. I have been spared by inches. We got the five car running up on the tracks in reverse on top of the barrier. Look at this. We're going to be in the top five right here. Let's go. This run is going to carry me by Denny on the bottom. It's going to be fourth. Denny, don't you even think about doing anything to me right now or it will be the last thing you do. I swear to God, I will unleash the dogs on you, son. Just let me get up in front of you. And I'm going to park the bus right here. We got the white flag. We're just going to need an assist. And here it comes from Cole Trickle up across the track. Throws himself into a twister. Where the hell do I go? Oh, don't push me. Don't push me. He pushed me. He pushed me all the way through the corner. And oh, my God. How the hell did we hold on to it? Please, Landon, do not turn me. Push me, Landon. We are right there. Push. Please give me the push. I do not care about anything else right now. And Blaney's trying to come take some lives. Please just let me get up there. I got to do it myself. Give me a speed boost off the wall, something, anything. Give me a push, Landon. That wouldn't be a bad idea. If I lose this close, I'm going to be sick. Someone pull out up there. Somebody pull it out up there. Please do it. Yes. Push her. No. Why? Why would you half-ass it? Why even tease me like you're going to do it right there? We came so close. I just got to put that behind me, man. I don't want to see it again. 
I don't want to hear about it. I don't even want to think about it again. I'm going to go at this like Wings of Redemption. Ban anyone who knows what just happened. We're never to speak of this again. I am genuinely going to have PTSD from that last attempt. Like, the last time I passed Denny Hamlet, it meant a hell of a lot more. Look at us now, Denny. Right back in the cycle again. Come here, Denny. I am not letting you get a run off the corner. I will body you at this point till that momentum is gone. Get behind me. Dennis, if I were you, I would just stay behind me because this is getting real ugly real fast. I bought my own window. There went Denny. The 45's in a twister, and it's a huge one. We got to go low. We're going to get by the red with the greatest of ease up into the top three. Look at this ass hattery right here. They are literally trying to wreck each other and give me the win, and I will take it if you want me to. What is that luck? What is that luck? I literally dive out of the way to prevent this, and we're still wrecking over here for the lead. This is a wreck for the lead. And we made it through! Just when you thought this couldn't get any more ridiculous and Busher, please don't do it, we're through! We are through! We have made it through the madness on the last lap! I think I can get it home from here, I think we did it! Not even an ounce of danger in the danger zone waiting for us, how sweet it is! One of the longest sessions we've done in a long time and we finally survived for the dub! Well, holy moly, ladies and gentlemen, that one was a wild one. We've got replays and we've got to wind down the wickedness that was a day of racing at Talladega. Once again, one of the most brutal sessions we've had here at the big boy in quite some time. If you didn't enjoy that, I don't know what to tell you. If you did enjoy that, please hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit the comments. Let me know what you want to see in the future out of this channel. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm off. I am hitting the road, and I'm going to be headed to Talladega for the races this weekend to check out the action. Hopefully have a hell of a good time like we did here today because this was an incredible send-off, if you ask me. Thank you all so much once again for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And with that, I'll see you all in the next one.